right people i believe we are live let me just get this pulled up here dun, 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 dun. and then we can maneuver forward here we go okay got it got everybody got everything got all the things welcome to monday everybody i hope you guys are amazing i literally just walked in the door five minutes ago from the gym um, climbing up the mountain. So if you're like, wow, she looks really sweaty. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am, but I'm here. I chose this morning to go to the gym early and to meet up with a friend who uh, leaves tomorrow for a few weeks. So I won't see her for a bit. And we're like, let's just go work out. So I did, I got it in. Um, I did have space in my day today later on, but I was like, I really feel the, the need today to root in in execution and I want to talk today a little bit about what's happening over the next couple weeks energetically in the world and a couple of the key things to remind us of how to move through this because I feel like this is an important subject whether you see this or not this could be relevant to the world you're living within in the space of what you're moving through at this moment of time so if you see this in like five months from now and you're like, wow, that really resonates with me today, then this is imperative at the timing that you listen to this, okay? So I really want you guys to, to really root in and understand that, you know, podcasts or, you know, different trainings, even if you don't attend them live or listen to them the week that they launch, the, when you tap in to that energy, it's in the exact moments that's necessary for your soul at that time, for your human at that time. So really trust in the timing of things. And I say this all the time because I run a collective, a membership group, and I go live every week. And they also get a whole bunch of other things inside of there, all my masterclasses, circles, and everything, right? And sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming, especially if they're in other containers with me where I'm teaching live programs or I'm doing other things, right? So I say to them all the time, trust in your intuition. Trust when you need to be there live. Trust when you watch the replays. Trust the timing of it all. And this is one of the most imperative keys as we grow and move forward in this uh, next level of expansion where we're headed in the collective energy for you to really, really trust and lean into this. So a couple things that are starting to happen more dominantly today than ever before in our whole entire existence is we're moving into a separation of energies. And the energies are literally creating this like energetic separation Um, in the world and those of us that are doing the work that are doing the healing work that are dropping in to break ancestral ties to literally shift energies to heal past life like past life uh, energies and doing the stuff inside of us to shift out are moving in one direction and we're moving into more acceleration of light we're moving into more connection and deeply rooted connection within and we're moving in towards a different dynamic of energy in the field of the energetics that are moving through And those that are refusing to do the work or not doing the work or not seeing the work or pretending like the work isn't necessary or are knee deep in their cycles and are choosing not to step out of their patterns, we're being separated or those that are still asleep. And there will always be, and I want to say this with so much love and respect for each of our missions on earth, there is always going to be people that will be asleep. Not everybody's going to make it, guys. And Sometimes that means friends of ours or family members, and sometimes that really is a depthful thing that is hard for us to swallow. But I really desire you to feel that today, to be like, we can't bring everybody with us. We can't. You can try, but each person needs to make a sovereign decision to move through their stuff and do the work to get to the other side. And when we talk about shining our light, and when we talk about stepping into the space, and when we talk about really expanding our energy, when we fully hold this energetic capacity within us and we actually step in through this portal way within our own selves to move energy, to be with energy, to experience energy, it allows us to open up this, this amazingness. However, we have to go through the shit, the darkness, the shadow within to get to the other side of the light. The only way through is through. We have to. Now, you don't have to do anything. But if you desire to really illuminate, if you desire to really be in your ascended self, if you desire to really be an embodiment and hold the power within you in its full potency, we've got to do the work. And sometimes this is the part where people are like, oh my God, like, I don't want to do the work. Trust me, I get it. I, it's not like I wake up every day going, I'm so excited to do the work. 
I am right now closing a 13 year cycle in my field, 13 years. Now the cycle has been hidden for a while. Sometimes it doesn't show up, but I recognized it last week and I went, Oh my God. And here we are. And this week is the closing of it. And I'm like, I am all in for closing the cycle. I'm like, what needs to happen? How do I show up? And it's like, it's for me this week, it's in grit. It's in grit energy of not giving up, of not stepping away from it, of keep shining a light into it, of seeing 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 it. And looking at the way I show up in my world, does it represent the past version cycle that I desire to break? Or am I stepping up in this potency of light to own it, to be with it, to move with it, to take an action of it, to take responsibility for it? And it is not fucking easy, guys. I would rather just run. I would rather, my, my body's like, let's just flight. Let's just fucking go. Let's just go. But my soul is like, do you want to repeat this lesson again? Because if you do, guess what's going to happen? It's going to come even more potently aligned and it's going to come in even more of a shit storm and it's going to come in. I'm like, I do not want to repeat this ever again, ever again. So guess what? I'm doing the work and I'm knee deep in it. So what's happening right now in the world over the next couple of weeks is we're going to see this massive, massive movement of shadow. Um, it doesn't mean that it's going to take over. There's nothing to fear inside of this. It's just recognizing that this is also going to bring up stuff inside of us. The planetary alignment where everything is right now. And like, I don't know a lot about that. Like, that's not my jam. But if you start to look at some of the astrologers talking about what's going on in the world right now, it's like really leaning into some of the energies that's there. Like feeling into that it's like that is an experience that's also showing up for our own selves right to look at to be like what is this bringing up in me to work within what is this bringing up in me to move within how is this showing up in my field what does this mean for me in the space of what i'm working through what i'm moving through and how i'm maneuvering in life and how do i take this energy inside of me and move it through how do I see the truth in it? How do I trust in the flow of this? How do I keep shining a light within my own self? A couple things I want to say to you guys is don't get distracted by what's happening in the outward environments, what's happening outside of the space of your control. Okay, there's always going to be distractions. We're always going to have energies moving through. There's always going to be the next thing that's around us that is shifting of energies, that is bringing in this cloud of disruption, that is, you know, trying to shift a mechanism. It will always be there. And I just want to say to you today, you get to choose how you show up in this. How do you desire to lead life now through the potency of you, your power, your mission, and this is the thing that's coming up in the field for us to take an awareness of. It's like, there's a lot, a lot. This is the start. This next six months of this year are going to be bringing up a lot of things. You're going to start to see stuff shift. You're going to start to see the world in that separation energy moving through in choice. And you're going to be able to choose which highway you're going to run on. You're going to be able to every single day. And I want to say into your field today that this, movement forward this motion that we're moving within this calibration that we're moving within is one of choice what side do you desire to be on and if you desire to be over here illuminated in your light and fully like moving through in your desires and at peace and joy and love and having those connections and deeply rooted in your impact and all the things then there's work that's going to need to be done and it's being called forward for us now some of it is in our anger work. Some of it's in, you know, how we show up in the world and anxiety and our worry and our fear. Some of it's in our doubt and our shadows and breaking the struggle lineage lines, you know, healing the ancestral patterns of lack. Like we're really being called back into the divine coding of who we are. So the message coming through today in a very potent, short period of time is how can you step up into this space? And how can you ride your wave this week, next week, throughout the next few months in what you really desire? And some days you're going to get kicked and some days it's going to be really, really challenging. But there's going to be those other days that it's just like we've got to move. How can you see the light within the dark? How can you see the light within the dark of all the things that you're about to experience, that you're about to see with your own eyes happen in this world? There's going to be some stuff. You know, we're in an election year for the United States. This is a big deal for the world. And it's like, what's going to happen? 
right? <laughs> what was the truth of the last election? Is that going to play out again? How is this going to shift? What's going to maneuver in the world? I have predictions from some really cool prophets that I work alongside that are good friends of mine. But I don't know, free will's at play every single day of the week in this experience. So as we move through the dynamics of what this is moving through this week, how can you really allow yourself to drop a back into here? How can you breathe through the experiences that are needed for you to breathe through? How can you step up into the space to really allow yourself the grace, if that's the word for you this week, and start to play in that field? That's all I got for today. A powerful message on Monday, July 15th. And whenever you listen to this, it's exactly perfect for you. Start to trust even more that you're being supported, that the pathway is there, that everything that you really desire is coming, is coming to fruition for you because it is if you believe that to be true. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.